Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a at-home glam session. Yep, I'm going to be doing full glam with nowhere to go. So as you guys can see, I'm just prepping my skin. I'm just going with the Glam Glow Glitter Mask Gravity Mud. And I'm just going to put this all over my skin just so that our base is ready to go when we need it. And next, we're going to be working on our hair. So today I decided I need a change. I was thinking about it and you know what? I said, why not? Let's just straighten the hair. So for that, I'm actually using my Chi straightener. Very good quality straightener to be honest with you guys. Highly recommend you guys check that out. And to pair that along, I'm using the Chi Iron Guard Heat Protector. And as you can see here, I was actually contemplating, hey, it kind of looked a little nice, you know. We might just want to keep it. Do we want to keep the girls today? Nah, I said, you know what, never mind. Let's just go in and straighten this mess out. So here I am just sectioning off my hair and spritzing that protector all over my hair. And just going in by sections, I'm just going to start straightening everything. For those of you with lots of hair, I'm sure you guys know how long this probably took. About an hour for me. So yeah, here's the sped up version. So now I just finished setting up my base. I did my moisturizers, all that good stuff and color corrected with some concealer so I went in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter a concealer in the color 350 I believe and I just kind of put that on top of the color and set it with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Translucent Powder. Next we're going to go in with that Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Longwear Foundation in the color 345. And as you guys can see here, I'm just kind of spot dotting it all over my face just to make sure I have a lot more coverage. And then going in with a damp beauty sponge, I'm just going to be blending that all into my skin. Next, we're going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Translucent Powder in the shade Honey. I'm just going to set all of that down. Then I'm grabbing my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony and just going to do my eyebrows real quick. Now I'm just going to go in with one of my Morphe brushes, I believe it's a JH43 and I'm just going to be using that one just to use the concealer and just carve out my eyebrows a little bit more just to make them look a bit more defined. And also going to just blend that in just to make it look not as harsh. Now I'm just grabbing my Too Faced Natural Lust Palette, first time opening up this girl, and I'm also going back in with a Morphe brush. I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill uh, JH30 blending brush, and I'm going to be working the color pinned down into my crease, just kind of all over. Now going in with another brush, the JH33, I'm going to be using the color Hot to Trot. And just going a little bit more tighter within my crease. I'm also going to be grabbing my brushes from the Morphe Pump Up the Glam brush set. And I'm also going to be using the NYX Off Tropic palette today. I'm going to be using two colors from the palette. I think it's 7 and 9. There's no names for these ones, I don't believe. You guys can let me know if you do see any names in the comments below. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to be putting that more into the crease. And just tight lining it, I guess. Now I'm just going to go back with that big blending brush and just kind of blend everything smoothly into my crease line. Next, with that same angled brush, I'm going back in with some concealer and I'm just going to cut my crease. Now I'm just going to go back and use my MAC 233 brush 
with the color too good and I'm going to be packing that onto the inner corner of my eyelids. So I'm going to go back into the next palette and I'm going to grab the color 7 and just start blending that from the middle towards the outer corners of my eyes. I'm also picking up, I believe, the color 9 and also blending that out into the outer corners of my eyes as well. I'm going in with another Morphe brush. I'm just going to be blending it out just to make everything look a little bit more softer. And going back in again with the color all tied up. And I'm just going to be putting that into the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten everything up. Next, we're going in with the Bobbi Brown Gel Liner in the color 1, Black Pink. And I'm just going to be lining my eyes. Finally, no look is complete without lashes, so I just used the MAC lashes in the number 70. These ones are really nice. I got them recently and I'd say they're pretty good. If you want me to show you guys more of the face look, please let me know in the comments below and we can definitely get that set up for you guys. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching today. I know today was a different style setup video, a little bit of a voiceover, get ready with me. But if you guys did like what you see and you like this look, please let me know in the comments below. It really helps with me, you know, figure out what my next video is going to be and all that sort of stuff. And obviously, no one's going anywhere as quarantine. I'm not going to be wearing this anymore. But if you do like what you saw today and you have any tips and tricks you want to share with me as well, Please, again, like I said, leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. And also, if you don't mind, you know, hitting that red subscribe button and hitting the bell notification so you don't miss any updates when I post a new video, that would also mean the world to me. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you later.